what's going on YouTube today I want to show you guys how to use the X real hair yeah I'm a youtuber what's your channel name? it's it's uh cola you want to see something cool yeah. let me show you Mm -hmm. I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna show these guys how the X Real Air 2 works. Give me my ice cream. You said you gonna show us how to do what? How? I'm gonna show you something cool. Hold on. Just hold on. Got the virtual reality glasses. Have you ever heard of uh, AR glasses? Yes. You have? Have you seen one before? Like, have you used one before? Okay, I'm gonna show you. You got them all? Yeah, no, no. They like, imagine VR, but with just glasses. Yes, that's exactly what they are. And you can see like 3D, you can play games, you can watch movies, you can do what I'm doing right now, using it as a navigation. You can do all kinds of cool stuff. So how you play the you just connect it uh, to your game system, like uh, Xbox, Xbox you know. But it is cool. So hold on, let me. How much So this one was like uh, two ninety nine or something like that. I don't remember. Yeah, but they're way they're way cheaper than uh, the Apple glasses. I'm gonna show you guys two things. This is going to be the home screen, mm -hmm. and then I'm going to show you guys what a 3D movie looks like on this thing. Okay. All right, put this on, and just look around. I can lie. Yeah. I can try. Yeah. Hold, hold on real quick. I want you to look at his glasses. You see, you look around. <laughs> right, it looks like it's floating. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, I'm about to play Fortnite. Yeah. <laughs> now let him try. Bro, I'm no. about to play Fortnite on that. So, so look around. Oh. It's cool, right? Yeah. Now let me let me play a 3D movie and and, and let you see what it looks like. Oh, can I try more? Yeah, yeah. Put them on and look around. Oh, uh, if you don't know how to ride it, then don't get on it because you can fall. Mm. Is it like a hoverboard? Yeah, kind of. I wrote a hoverboard. No, you, you can't touch it. You can't oh. touch it. You can only use the, the phone to touch it. Okay. But, it. but there is a newer one that has camera and you can use your hands to touch it. But let me show you guys a, a 3D movie real quick. I know. You can you can play all kinds of crazy game on this. Okay, I gotta start a game. What's going on, YouTube? Today I want to show you guys how to use an XR or AR glasses uh, as a navigation device. In this case, I'm using the Xreal Air 2s, but this would also work with the Rokid Max, uh, the Vitual ones, the Nemo Air. Basically any AR glasses can be done with this. So in my case, I'm riding on my Segway, as you can see, right around the street and I have the navigation projected to the right corner of my eye that way I know exactly where I'm going now this is an area that I live in so I know all about this area but if you're going somewhere and you're not exactly sure how to get there you can use this as a means of navigation if you were on a e-bike a Segway in my case a Segway or you can even use it in your car now most cars have navigation so you probably wouldn't want to use this, you know, but I have done it before and it does work. So the thing to know is this method will work best if you have a Samsung, a Samsung that is capable of DeX, because in that case, you can have navigation in the corner of your eyes and have the phone screen off. Yes, I'm a YouTuber. <laughs> yeah, you can, um, have navigation streaming at the corner of your eye and have your phone off whereas with other phones uh, Motorola can do this because motor, some Motorola's have something called Moto G I don't know Moto Ready 4 or something like that but basically 
with Dex, you can do anything you want, have it stream into your uh, glasses and have your phone screen on. Whereas without Dex, you would have to do a uh, screen mirroring. So the benefit of having Samsung uh, is that you have something called a Samsung Dex. This option right here, Samsung Dex is what turns a regular monitor into a PC. So let me click on it and show you guys what it looks like. As you can see, now my phone has turned this basically into a PC. So the beautiful thing about uh, Samsung Dex is that it turns your phone into a, a touchpad while you still have the ability to, uh, you know, control your screen. Uh, I mean, while you have the ability to, you know, play, do all kinds of stuff on your on your screen. Now you would notice that the entire desktop is black, right? This is a typical wallpaper that you kind you will get when you have Samsung Dex. But I uploaded a, a black wallpaper. The way I was able to get this black wallpaper was simply to cover my camera and take a picture. Another way is to just search black, just type in black in Google and take the first black picture you see, download it and set it as a wallpaper. The reason why you want to set it as a wallpaper is because, let me close this. So I've been building the bike. This screen right here, this whole thing is what's going to be displaying on your glasses. So if you have a colored screen, that's going to get in your way when you're walking, riding an e-bike or driving or whatever you're doing. All those images are going to get in your way. They're going to they're gonna be in, in, right in front of your eyes. By having a black wallpaper, the screen is actually going to be transparent. So you can actually see and you can actually see the entire uh entire screen. I put all my apps into this corner. You have obviously you have the ability to uh to draw in more apps, you know, you have your app app drawer. Now some of you have probably never seen Samsung Dex before. This is this is what it looks like. You know, you can pretty much run any app that you would want to run like you would typically do on your phone but except it's going to be showing and you can keep your phone screen off. So now I'm going to open Google uh, Google Maps and show you guys how I do navigation. Once I get the maps, the navigation and load it, I'm going to drag this map right here and take it to this right here. It's going to be overlaid over this apps over here and it's going to be to the corner right here. So what this does is, this shows me navigation while I can look through this entire thing. It's going to make more sense if you have the glasses on. Obviously, I'm going to make this uh, a bit smaller. It's kind of hard to do this while holding the camera at the same time. But basically, I make this uh, about this size right here. And so this right here is just picture, just assume this is not black, that this is completely transparent and that's your windshield. Imagine that that's what you're seeing through because that's exactly what you're going to be looking at when you're using the exterior glasses and you're going to have navigation here. It is important that you make sure that this is black, that way you can see completely through it. Uh, when you are walking or riding e-bike or maybe driving or whatever it is that you're doing you want to make sure that this is black and also um, I like to see this taskbar right here it's kind of like a start bar in a Windows or I don't know if Apple has that but you can have this on auto hide and that's exactly what I would do so if you move your mouse up it's gonna disappear and if you move your mouse down it's gonna reappear and then you can go to the corner and select uh, apps as you want to and close the app back up and you are back you have your navigation here and you can see through the entire thing like I said now I typically use Samsung Dex 
but you can pretty much use any other type of phone to do this the only downside is your phone screen would have to be on but most android phones i don't know about iphone have this feature called accidental touch which means that if your phone screen is on and it's in your pocket it's in a dark environment the screen will be disabled so even though your phone screen is on you can still keep it in your pocket or you know to be safer than that you can just keep it in your hands that's the only downside in comparison to the samsung dex where your phone screen can be off now with android a lot of android phone have this hidden desktop mode uh, feature which i explained in one of my previous videos how you can actually activate desktop mode desktop mode is is almost like uh it's almost like dex except you have a, a few limitations one of the limitations is you can't keep your screen off so but if you want to see how that works and how that can benefit you check out this video right here which actually right here which i made a while back so once again if you don't have dex this is what you see right now this is going to be right in the middle of your view and you don't want these maps in the middle of your view what you can do is slide up i mean slide down and you're gonna click on this side screen right here this side screen is what's gonna help you put this to the corner of your eye instead of right in the middle so side view once you select this screen hair casting right here it's gonna show in my case it's showing this uh phone to the left corner of my eye so it takes away the distraction from the middle that way if you're driving riding walking or whatever you're doing the navigation is not projected into your into the middle of your field of view it's showing it's going to be shown on the left side so the next thing you want to do is you want to go into your settings and you want to search accidental accidental touch protection you want to make sure this is on once this is on right here what it's going to do is whenever you can keep your phone screen on but you can put it in your pocket whenever your phone is in, is in a dark place it's going to prevent your phone from um, accidental touches so even though your phone screen is unlocked there's nothing that's going to be uh, your phone the touch screen is going to be disabled therefore you can still use the navigation or whatever it is that you want to use with your phone screen on while in your pocket this is it right here it is a great feature um, as you can see protect your phone from accidental touches uh, in a dark place such as pocket or bag Now that's that's a 3d movie it's just showing the trailer now if you were in a dark area like a room it's gonna look really really good and plus while you ride you can just watch it while you ride it you can still see yeah but if i'm watching a movie i'm i'm just gonna be sitting down that's cool right mm -hmm. but yeah i just want to show you that if i had more time i would teach you how to write that but i don't have enough time i gotta get to work I'm trying to become a YouTuber too. Yeah, yeah you want to become 41. a YouTuber? You got yeah. 41 subscribers. You got 41? Well, you keep growing, you know. We all start somewhere. My username is Fusion. Is what? Fusion. Fusion? What do you do? I play Roblox. Roblox? Okay, so you're a streamer? Okay, that's cool. You know, I got... um. I got decently big on uh, Instagram at one point. I had like 12,000 uh, followers and uh, subscribers. But, yeah. Anyways, what's your name? London. London? Nice meeting you, ma'am. Cola. I live on the other street. So you might see me fly a drone every now and then. You fly a drone? Yeah, I be flying. I love kids. They're so innocent. He has a YouTube uh, channel with 41 subscribers. The next time I come around, uh, I might actually subscribe to his channel. I'm going to search his channel. It, it says his YouTube name is Fusion. He's a streamer. 
I don't, I'm not into streaming or playing games like that. So I'm going to just subscribe to just give him one more subscriber, you know. But anyways, uh, that's it, guys. Thank you guys for watching. If you have any questions in regards to x um AR glasses and stuff like that. Oh, and I'm building an e-bike from scratch. So if you're into that and you want to see how it works, I'm talking about from scratch. Like I bought the frame from China and I bought all kinds of parts that goes along with the e-bike to build it completely from the ground up. So if you want to see that, stay tuned. In the meantime, thank you guys for watching. Please smash the like button if you like this content. Subscribe if you want to see more content from me. I truly appreciate you guys. Take care and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.